All right. So the next thing we want to talk about are factors versus terms. So what does this mean? So the idea of a factor is when you have variables and numbers, those each of those is considered a factor. I'm going to make a, a slight addition in a term. So I'm getting a little backwards here. We haven't talked about what a term is yet. But a term is made up of factors. And I'll explain why I'm getting into this, why I'm insisting on this last part of the definition. Factors multiply to create a term. They come together through multiplication to make a term. It's kind of like glue. They're all glued together with multiplication. So for example, 6xy. This is made up of three factors. This entire thing is a single term. And the factors are the parts of the term multiplied together. Again, using multiplication like glue. Six times X, X then times Y. And remember, there's some invisible multiplication signs in here when we put the number and the variables next to each other. But in algebra, we don't write those, even though they're still there invisibly. So you have three factors, a number, a variable X, and another variable Y. And terms are separated by pluses and minuses. So for example, there's our 6xy plus say 7x squared x squared being an x times an x. And in the same way we would write 3 times 3 is 3 squared. Let's use a dot since we're in algebra now. We would do an x the same way. x times x we would call x squared. That's what that means. And then say minus 2. So here we have three terms. This one is a number times a variable times another variable. This is a number really times an x times an x. We just, you know, the x times x, we can call that x squared, just like three times three is three squared. So we have a pair of x's multiplied to a seven. This two is in fact a term. Even though it's not multiplied to anything, it's just a two by itself, it is considered its own term, even though it looks like it's a factor. So that's why I wanted to mention that the variables and the numbers, they have to be included into a term to be considered factors. A number or a variable, or plus y in there, just because they're by themselves, that means they're their own terms. So here we have four terms. That's it. So this would be a term with a single factor of two. Here's a term with a single factor of y. Here's a term with a seven and a pair of x's multiplied together. And here's a term with three factors, a six, an x, and a y 
multiplied together. You could argue there's three factors here, the seven and pair of x's. Though sometimes people might treat this x squared as a factor and the seven as a factor, but you could also think of it the other way too. So that's what we've got. We have four terms here, and that's the difference between terms and factors. So any questions about that, let me know.